Good evening, carpet cleaning world. This is Roger Lloyd, your administrator, on this Sunday evening. You know, I was talking to Antoine Evans, the ambassador of the carpet cleaning world here, and he said, you know what, Roger? You should let them know about your new sales card caddy for carpet cleaners. I said, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to save it for the conference. He said, no, Roger. They Somebody right before the holidays should be able to use this. So I said, okay, why not? I mean, if you like it, a lot of you guys are going to complain about it because the cards are black and white. They're too wordy. I mean, you guys are going to come up with anything you could think of. But you think giving someone a business card at sales level you're doing something well of course you do because that's the way we're taught get a business card get business card hell at vista print you can get a first your first hundred for like ten dollars so of course you're going to give out business cards everyone knows about business cards but they're you're not doing business with them yet so you want to give them a sales card you want them to get to know about you a little bit so they will want to do business with you. And then you can give them all the business cards you want. And see, this is very important. Listen, you do it your way, but I'm going to show it to you. This is my sales card caddy. You notice I didn't say business card caddy. My sales card. My first one says your carpet is beautiful. Wait a minute. Let's do this the right way. Your carpet is beautiful except for that one ugly spot. I'll remove it for free. Wait a minute. Before you guys have a heart attack, let's go to the rest. Okay. So why would I remove that nasty spot for free? What's the catch? Simple. I own the area's best carpet cleaning company, BioClean Carpet Cleaning. Oh, what happened here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> All right. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on? And so it says, simple. I own the area's best carpet cleaning company, BioClean Carpet Cleaning. I'm located in Pottstown and wanted to make a, wanted to make a great impression one on homeowners and the surrounding area. I want to become your cleaner, your cleaning guy. I want you as a customer of mine for life. So here's the deal. Turn over. And then, yes, that's right. It's a whole lot of writing. Roger, you got to be crazy. I'm not going to do all that. Well, it's your loss. You'll get good customers this way, too. Let me scroll this down here so I can let you see. Uh, I'm trying to hold the phone and let you guys see this. Wait a minute. I think I got it. Hold on. All right, now I just got to slide it over. Hold on. Ugh. Where is it at here? There we go. Wow, this is tough. There we go. All right. So, then it says, I'll take, remember it says, what's the, here's the deal. I'll take out that one nasty spot. Allow me to give you a short presentation explaining ways to keep your home in its cleanest and healthiest state. Does this sound good to you so far? I will give you a, a valuable I will give you valuable gift cards for yourself, your family members and your friends to use when they're ready. I won't try to sell you anything other than what a great job um, a great job my company can do for you. That that's it. To schedule a convenient time for me to come over and get that nasty spot spot out, and then it has my information. See, listen, what you don't understand is you want to give people reasons to call you. You don't just want to always give them a price. I'm not saying you never want to give them a price, but you don't always want to give them a price. So the first card says, your carpet is beautiful, except for that one ugly spot. I'll remove it for free, just to get in their house and talk to them. The next card says, do you enjoy cleaning your bathroom tile? No? Then let me do it for you free. 
and then it has a similar offer. As long as they get three or four rooms done at my package price, then I'll clean a couple bathrooms for them, two to be exact. You love your pets, but accidents do happen. So if they have pet problems, then guess what? Then they will be have this pet card here. But see, none of it is a business card. All of them are silly, and they're two-sided. And then the last one is about furniture. Is your carpet, is your couches starting to look a little worn? What about those stains on that armchair? Turn old furniture into like new for a lot less than you think. Listen, these are sales cards. These are what get the people to call you. They're uniform, they're neat, they're small, and all the little local dry cleaners, nail salons, all of that. No, my friend. No, no, I know I see that. They're Johnny Johnson. What's up, brother? It's not too much. It's not. Listen, you can waste a whole lot of money on business cards that only have your name, a picture, and your information. Some will work. Most of them will get thrown away. These, if they get picked up, they're going to do one thing. They're going to get people to call you, but not about price. You're going to go out there. You're going to look over what they have. You're going to give them a folder of all your information, and you're going to come out with much more than some carpet cleaning. And it's not going to be a hundred or two hundred dollar job. It's going to be a five, six, seven, or eight, nine, or a thousand dollar job. Now, Johnny, I know that you do it the reverse way, and I don't have a problem with that. But I'm from the old school, and I don't want to do five and six houses a day. I want to do one or two, maybe three good ones, and I still want to bring home two to three thousand dollars. And that's the way that I'm just showing it. But if you want to do Johnny's way and your way, Johnny, there's nothing wrong with that. It's many guys that are very successful doing it that way. But me, I want to get in, get out. I have very expensive equipment, and so do you. And I just want to make my money. I don't want to beat my equipment up. I want to do a good job for customers that value their home. And I want to keep, and they will call me back. They will use me in six months if they don't get on my maintenance plan. I didn't just come up with this stuff. These are the things that I use. And think about it. This is this is very cost effective. This uh, plastic card caddy here costs you $5 at Staples. $5 at your office supply store. You buy the Avery Clean Edge Ivory Business Cards for $18.99 for 200 of them. You, you buy these um, templates from me for $50 for all four of them. You print them out on your computer and you put, you print them out. They come, the cards come in 10 sheets on a sheet. So you print out one sheet at a time, put them in the card caddies and then go to your local, um, diners, your local, um, beauty salons, your local nail shops, your local, um, of uh, uh, dry cleaners. All of these businesses are right around you. They'll let you put them on their countertop. And yes, listen, for what? Less than 50 bucks? I mean, you can get good customers. This works. If they take a card and they read it, oh my goodness, think about the money you can make because this isn't someone that's just looking for a splash and dash. This is someone that wants to, a good cleaner. I read you what it said. I told him the truth. I want to be their cleaning guy, not just for carpet cleaning, for every service that I offer. That's why they're going to get one of my folders, my folders of information. Where are they at here? Let me grab one so you guys understand. So when these people call me, they're going to get one of my BioClean folders right here, and it has all my services in it, and they're not going to throw this folder away. They're going to put it, they're going to file it, so when they need something cleaned in their house, or they're ready to refer me, they don't have to worry about finding a card. They don't have to worry about looking on the refrigerator for a magnet. They don't have to try to remember all the services that I offer, 
Everything is in this folder. That's why I'll go get a spot out there carpet with my little spotter machine that'll take my technician maybe 10 minutes so I can sit down and talk to them and build a customer and also a referral source because they'll feel obligated because the law of reciprocity states because I gave them something, they'll feel obligated to reciprocate. But, you know, I'm just explaining to you what I do. Nothing wrong with the other way of charging a base price and just knocking, like Johnny said, six or seven houses down a day. But that's just not what I want to do anymore. I'm older now. I want to build loyal customers. Not saying that Johnny doesn't, but... <laughs> hey, Johnny, so are you. Hey, Keith Vardell, what's going on, man? This is my new sales card caddy. You might have to restart this and um, watch this over again. We got good old Johnny Johnson in here, too. That's my buddy with that shoebox challenge thing he got going on. I got about 300 in my shoebox now, Johnny. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it there till Christmas. I'm going to try it. <laughs> All right, fellas, it's Sunday evening. I just wanted to share with you my sales card caddy. Listen, if you have more time than work, you can go to Staples. This will cost you $50, I mean $5, this little plastic card caddy. And then you want to buy some uh, Avery, uh, what are these cards? Um, uh, here they go. Um, you want to buy... What what number is this? Oh, there they go. The fifty eight seventy six, um, car, Avery business cards. If you have a home printer at home and you want to print out about ten of these, and so you can um make these cards here to put in the card caddy, and then like I said, you call me, you buy the templates. They're editable and Microsoft Publisher. I'll email them right over to you. You put your name and phone number and email address on it. And then hop at it. Go to the dry cleaners, the nail salons, the beauty salons, the dog groomers, all those local small businesses right around you. And you put these card caddies on their counter. Tell them you'll do something nice for them. Or tell them that you'll give them 10%. For every money, all the money that you make. So if you get a $200 job from them, you'll give them $20. It's worth it. And it doesn't cost you anything. And you're going to get very good, valuable customers. Because no one is doing it this way. Everyone's thinking, oh, that's too much writing. And it's too plain. And it's too all that bull. Listen, if you have a prop, if your clients have a problem... If they have a nasty spot in their carpet, they don't need a picture. They need this right here. Your carpet is beautiful except for that one ugly spot. They're going to relate to that. So they're going to look at the rest of the card. And once they start reading, got them. And then they're going to take the card and they're going to call you. Because you're saying you'll get that one spot out for free. And then that's when you want to go in... That's when you want to go in with my folder because you're buying some time from them. And that's what you want to do. You want to buy the time. And then you can give them this folder with all your information in it. But anyway, then you have these other cards. Say they don't have that carpet nasty spot. Do you enjoy cleaning your bathroom towel and grout? No? Then let me do it for you for free. If you let me come in and clean at least three or four rooms of carpet at our premium package for carpet cleaning, then I'll clean a couple of your bathrooms for you free. So they have to spend about three to four hundred dollars with me, and then I'll clean their bathrooms for free. Two of them to be exact. Then I have another car for pet odor in it. You love your pets, but accidents do happen. And it offers a free pet odor inspection. And then the last one. My wife really likes this one. Is your couch starting to look a little warm? What about those stains on the armchair? Turn old furniture into like new for a lot less than you think. Listen, I don't need any pictures for somebody to read that. 
and take a card. You just want them to take a sales card with them. I know this is hard to understand. I know you can't fathom this because the world has taught you in business that you have to have a pretty business card that has your name, email address, a whole bunch of pictures on it, some fancy print, all that malarkey that's not making you any money. This is informative. This is Roger Lloyd's sales card caddy. It's $50.00. And it's yours, and then it costs you nothing except to buy the cards and to buy the card caddy, and you're off to the races. If you have more time than money and work right now, this is a great way, especially at holiday season, they'll let you put these card caddies on dry cleaners in your area, hair salons, nail salons, all these places that deal with women and people on a regular basis can get a look at your services and they'll call you. They'll call you. These are going to be good clients, not people that are trying to get a quick quote, quick quote over the phone. And they're going to call you if the price is right. You're going to go in there and you're going to need my presentation folder or some folder of information so you can talk to them. This start, These uh, cards, I told you, I'll sell you the templates, all four of them, for $50 in Microsoft Publisher. Then if you want, you can buy my inserts for the presentation when the people call you. Because you have to give them a wow experience. So you need a folder like this. You want to show them what makes you different. Why you call yourself the area's best carpet cleaning service. Oh well. It's up to you. It always was, and it always will be. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. This is Roger Lloyd's sales card caddy. It's 50 bucks for these templates. They'll be emailed over to you, and all you have to have is Microsoft Publisher. Edit your information on it. Change any wording you don't like if you don't like it, and get hop at it. This will bring you some business right away if you follow the steps. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.